Good morning, everyone. This is Amit Prabhari, founder and managing director of CR Forex. Last week was full of volatility. Equity market across the globe were falling. In today's presentation, first let us understand why equity market across the world were falling and why money was moving from riskier asset to safe haven. So the first reason is carry trade unwinding. Carry trade means when you borrow money from a lower interest rate country and when you invest in asset classes. Now this is going to unwind. Why? Because Japan Bank has increased the interest rate by 0.25% last week. After that, most of the investors are thinking that in coming days also they are going to increase the interest rate. Because of that, they have booked profit in all major riskier assets like equity and money started moving back to Japan. Because of this reason, if you see, Japanese currency has also appreciated from 155 level to 146 kind of level. Second reason is most of the US economy data are coming on the lower side. One of the critical data which indicates whether the market can enter into recession or not is US job data. If you see the chart, US job data are not coming on a good side. Unemployment rate is rising, wage growth is decreasing. Apart from that, job openings are also reducing. Now, let me give you one more data point with respect to US job data. In last 55 years, whenever the unemployment rate is going above its 24 months average, 7 out of 10 times recession had occurred in the US market. And if you see last 24 months average, this time comes close to 3.6% and uh, unemployment is trading at 4.3%, which is indicating that there is a probability that market can enter into recessionary phase in US. In coming days, we are expecting high volatility and pressure in equity markets. There are three reasons for the same. First reason is there is a fear of US entering into recession. Second, uncertainty of US election. Uh, till that time, election results are out, market will have uncertainty. Third, geopolitical tension in Middle East can create some kind of pressure on equity. Now let us understand what outlook we have for different asset classes. We have been saying that dollar index is going to fall drastically from 107 levels. We have been saying sell on uptick should be the view. Currently also the view is same. 10450 is going to act as a strong resistance for dollar index and dollar index is going to move towards 100 and then 98. USD JPY can give a small bounce back towards 148 or 149 kind of a level but ultimately it should move towards 140 kind of levels. Remember that when G USD JPY was trading close to 160 level, we said that TPY, INR importers should go and hedge their payments. Now 3-4 rupees momentum has come in JPY, INR and it has shoot up drastically on the upside expecting further weakness in JPY INR pair. When there is a sell-off in the global market, despite our fundamentals, we will see some kind of correction in sectors which are overvalued. So ideally, investor should sit on cash. They should hold cash close to 30 to 40 percent. Now let us discuss outlook on rupee. In last one month, there have been many factors which suggested that rupee should appreciate like dollar index become weaker by 2.5 percent. Chinese and Japanese currency both become stronger. Apart from that, crude oil price has fallen by 11 percent and in the equity market in the month of July, there was an inflow close to 5 billion dollars. Despite all of the positives, rupee is not getting stronger and in the market, they say trend is your best friend. 
so we will say that till that time rupee is not breaking a key level of 83.55 we expect there will be some kind of a pressure on rupee and rupee might trade on a higher level close to 83.75 to 83.90 saying that as a fundamental factors are uh, on a stronger side we are not expecting it to move towards 84.20 to 84.50 on a shorter time frame let us discuss strategy for thin margin exporters like agri exporter chemical exporters thin margin exporters are taking costing close to 83.50 we are suggesting them that 80 percent they should hedge between 83.70 to 83.80 kind of a level for remaining they can keep a strict stop loss of 83.50 or costing whichever is higher now let us discuss strategy for thick margin exporters like textile exporters or engineering exporters between 8370 to 8380 if someone is hedging based on anticipation order they should keep a hedge ratio of 55 to 60 percent and if someone is hedging based on confirm order they can keep a hedge ratio of 75 to 80 percent now let us discuss strategy for importers dollar index has fallen drastically last week so we will suggest importers not to panic they should keep a stop loss of 83.90 and wait for a lower levels of 83.55 to 83.60 kind of a level where they can cover 50% of import payment which is due in next 30 days with this i will end my today's presentation shahin namaskar fir milenge next week thank you